Good afternoon, amigos from La Ciudad de Mexico. Right now, we are outside where? Walmart! <laughs> We are talking about some of the difference between Walmart in Mexico and Walmart in the United States. Obviously, it's Walmart, so they're very, very similar, but there's some very interesting differences that we have found through our shopping experiences before. I do want to point out, we realize Walmart's not exactly the best place to shop or the best company uh, to support, but there's like a few strange items that we're looking for. Um, Heaters, blankets that we just couldn't find or we don't know where to find elsewhere. Maybe you guys can help us yeah. with that, but. Let's go shopping. Vamos. Okay, and to start it off, one of the biggest differences between Walmart in Mexico and Walmart in the United States is, I think it's a pretty well-known fact in the United States at Walmart, people aren't exactly dressed their best. There's an entire website for this, the people of Walmart. You see all sorts of clothing, all sorts of people, it's just a very interesting place, the Walmarts in the States. But here in Mexico, this Walmart is super nice. Everybody's dressed really nice. That's a pretty common theme throughout Mexico City, at least, is that when you go out, you, you wear nice clothes. You don't wear Walmart clothes here in Mexico. So to me, that's probably uh, the biggest differences, but of course we have many, many more. This is something that they probably sell in the United States. It is completely trivial to most people, but to us, it's fabuloso. We're addicted to the smell of fabuloso. Um, they have an entire <sighs> aisle, and when I pass it, I think I've died and gone to heaven. Quite possibly the most important difference between Walmart in Mexico and Walmart in the United States is the panaderia. The bread section here in Mexico in small Mexican supermarkets is amazing. Obviously, Walmart in the States has a bread section, but it does not have a doble garantia de frescura. It's just, it's just not the same. They don't have contas. They don't have fresh made tortillas. They might have fresh made tortillas, but they're not quite as good. It's just Mexican pan. Mexican pan dulce is hard to beat. Look how big this is. That is huge. 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 Put your head next to that thing. Drip some hairs. All right, guys. Another major difference is the types of pre-prepared foods they have here. Uh, of course, it's gonna have a little bit of a Mexican flair to it. We've got uh, chili rellenos, a torta de papa, <laughs> papa. I don't know where to put the accent on that one. I don't think it's papa. That's like your dad. You don't want a torta de papa. <laughs> uh, uh, we've got some other uh, tortas here, nopales. I don't know what this is, rajas con crema. Stuff, you don't find this stuff in the States, folks. I mean, I mean you would find it in the States, but not pre-prepared at Walmart. Costillas, estillo, barbecue, guacamole, and of course, jello. Jello, for some reason, I could be wrong. Seems like a very Mexican thing, but I love it. I'm a huge, I'm a huge jello lover, so I'm not complaining. Okay, another thing that is slightly different is a lot of times in Mexico, the meats and cheeses seem to be sold on some type of commission basis. Uh, so we don't, we don't eat sandwiches here in Mexico because I don't know, I'm always afraid of who to pick and how, you know, how to interact. Obviously I can speak Spanish, but the, the selling Frenzy just scares me. We've made it to my personal favorite aisle in probably any store. That is the snack aisle. Uh, here at Walmart in Mexico, they actually have way less chip choices. Or snack is, uh, choices. Snack choices in general, but we're standing here on the chip aisle, which is just two small tiny sections. Um, and most of the chips they do have are spicy, so. Uh, but we're slowly falling in love with the spice of Mexico. Slowly. We've got. Popcorn, we've got popcorn con Valentina, because Valentina goes well on everything. That's popcorn and Valentina, that sounds delicious right now. We've got sabritas, uh, is like Lay's. This is chiles 
Rojos, uh, Flame and Hot, and then they probably have these in the States too, but Jalapeno, but it's like, I think in the States, spicy chips is like a novelty, or like, people definitely like it and enjoy it and they have it, but here, like you would never get chips that aren't spicy. I could be wrong, tell me. But in all the room that was saved uh, with so little snacks and chips, we have made room for the land of the Hugos. <laughs> land of the Hugos. I've never seen so many juices. <laughs> Tenemos Humex. <laughs> Uve Ocho Splash. Tenemos Boing. Boing, Boing. I know Boing is pretty popular here. We've got some more Humex. Um, we need to try some more of these juices. We need another do a do another drink video. Uh, oh, great value brand competing with Humex. Watch out! What else do we have? I mean, it's it's all over. Again, they probably have this in the states, but juice definitely seems more popular in Mexico than it is in the states. Juice, agua fresca, those types of things. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not afraid to tell you when we are wrong. We were wrong. They have an excellent chip selection. <laughs> we just didn't see it. If there's one thing I would buy in the States but not in Mexico, it is bagged chicharrones. Chicharrones. Uh, the reason buy those in the States, I would buy these in the States and not in Mexico because in Mexico you can get the real deal. You can get it right off the pig. Why don't you get the bag oh. stuff? And there are so many other differences that uh, we have pointed out in other videos, like the mayonnaise with lime situation here. Very hard to find mayonnaise sin limon here in Mexico, but you can find it. Um, eating off of meat trays. Plenty behind me, there's some in front of me over here. We just never seen meat trays, not used as meat trays uh, in the States, but that completely normal to us now. I think in general, it's more difficult to find uh, like things like canned biscuits or mixes that are already semi-made for you. I, uh, my rationale being is because people, like if you want biscuits here in Mexico, you get the flour, you get all the separate ingredients and like you really make them, you don't have the pre-prepared. So I would say in general, uh, less pre-prepared food items here, although they, they do have plenty of pre-prepared uh, things just different than what we've seen in the states where we're used to in the states. Last two differences, one going on right behind us is uh, at supermarkets in Mexico, they have uh, baggers that help you bag the food and uh, they work off of tips. So whenever you go, make sure you always have some change. And uh, number two, the last difference we're going to point out in today's videos is that uh, at the Walmarts here, they have a packetaria. That's where you're supposed to drop off your bags like your backpack before you go in the store. Um, and that's pretty common in Mexico. Like if you go into a museum or any kind of department store, they're probably gonna want you to put your bag away. They'll give you a little card and then you just get it on your on your way out. Now obviously today we have chosen to focus on some of the, the differences between the United States and Mexico, um, simply because that's a lot more interesting than focusing on all the similarities in Walmart. Uh, but the reality is it's, it's Walmart. Yeah, it's, they all have rollback on low prices. <laughs> yes, 95% uh, of it is exactly the same. Uh, but it always is fun for us to point out these differences uh, that we have come to love about Mexico. And uh, I think low prices always. <laughs> okay, Walmart spokesman, spokeswoman. Uh, I think more importantly, uh, we should probably focus on some of the similarities between Mexico because all you hear about are the differences. But hopefully, this was. Uh, had some levity levity to it, I suppose. Hopefully we were able to, uh, to make light of the situation. Now, uh, what you didn't see on camera is us struggling to find pretty much everything on our list. Even as similar as it is, they didn't have a, heat, a space heater we couldn't find. We couldn't find an electric blanket. Um, but stick around for the bonus and you'll be able to see us trying to find that at a different store. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell that we get notified. Every time. We upload a new video and we will see you soon. We promise not to have any shopping videos for at least two or three more days. What? Let's go. <laughs> bonus footage. Krispy Kremes in Mexico are surprisingly popular. I say surprisingly. Uh,
for one reason. There's so many good bread places. I apologize for the wind. There's so many wind, uh, so many good panya that he is. Krispy Kreme wouldn't be my first choice, but they, again, at the same time, I'm not surprised because I know eating sweet bread and uh, donuts, 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 <laughs> donuts, are right, pretty popular here in Mexico. But there's a lot of Krispy Kreme. Okay, now we're on the hunt for curtains. I heat it like an electric blanket and a little space heater. Uh, people can see like straight in our apartment, so we gotta get some curtains. Our apartment doesn't get much sun all day, so it just stays, it, it's not freezing in there, but it never gets warm, so, uh, and Hillary gets cold really easily. For me, it's, it's probably the perfect temperature, but she needs something, so we'll try and, uh, we'll try and find it. Uh, second thing, bonus footage, just rambling. This shopping center is super nice. I think we're in Del Valle. Pretty nice area, really slinky. Hashtag bonus footage. <laughs> you have to feel these. Oh my no, gosh. Those are so thick. What the heck? We don't need a heater. Just get some of those. Those are insane. How much are these? $269? Okay. No. Okay. No. I think that color, that's like your favorite color. <gasps> oh, it is. Well, amigos, we might just be cold this winter. We found heated blankets for 1,200 pesos. We found a heater for like... Send help. <laughs> <laughs> we're, uh, we're buying lots of socks. <laughs> <laughs> we made it home. Kenan's.